Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ashish Kapoor and today I'm going to talk about website security. Recently, I saw a sudden surge in hacking attacks on my websites and a lot of websites were infected with malware. That is the time when you usually panic. But thankfully, I had Bitinja installed on my server which took care of the malware removal for me. So malware is a big problem for businesses. No matter what size, malware can slow down your system cause data loss and even lead to financial theft. So if you're also thinking about your website security, then watch this video in full and see how I protected my websites and removed the malware from the servers. Let's talk about Bitninja. Bitninja is a multi award winning cyber security company. They have an amazing malware detection tool that can help protect your servers from the latest threats. Their tool is easy to use, install, and they block more than 10 million cyber attacks every single day. Even in case of malware injection, their malware scanner detects and quarantines the malicious file and keeps your server secure. So let's get right into the dashboard and see how to set up Bitninja malware detection tool on your servers. First of all, if you're new, you need to sign up on Bitninja. Click on the free trial button, fill up the basic information and click on start trial. Upon successful sign up, you may need to verify your email. Once you verify your email, you'll be able to add your server in Bitninja. You do not need to put details of the server in Bitninja dashboard. Instead, you need to install Bitninja client on your server. So all the instructions are on your screen based on the server's operating system. You know, I need to run the command in the server's shell. So simply open the terminal app on your Mac OS device or log into a server using putty if you're using Windows and make sure you're logged in as root. Simply type or copy paste this command and press enter. So the command looks like this. You need to replace your license key, which I have replaced with XXX. And uh, once you run the command and successfully install the Bitninja client on your server, you'll be able to see the server in the Bitninja dashboard. So you can now go to anti-malware section and find all the options. The graph shows the number of caches in the last month. Then you can uh, start a new malware scan on your server. If you want to scan only a specific folder inside your server, here's how you can mention the path and run the scan. Once you click on start a malware scan button, the system takes a couple of minutes to scan the whole server searching for malware. The dashboard keeps you updated about the scan results in the real time and usually the deep scan feature is enabled but for a much regular use you can turn this feature off and the quick scan will be much much more faster. So to do this you can simply edit the config file and use the enable disable deep scan variant option okay you can also check the history in infected files this is the number of malware it detected since the start you can also enable or disable this module from scan settings guys hope you liked my video about how bitninja can be a lifesaver for your sites and your servers in the time of panic i have also used it on a hacked server to clear and remove the malware code it worked like you know charm so let us also compare it with other malware scanning tools i bought a single user license of immunify 360 to use on my server and here are my observations so installing and setting up the immunify 360 on a standalone server is quite tricky you need to follow a long documentation install mod security etc to successfully install it most of the times it is still a headache even after installing the perquisites on the other hand installing bit ninja client is super easy no matter which control panel or cms you use it only requires one command to install though the features you get in immunify 360 are almost equivalent to bit ninja the user interface is not that easy bit ninja panel is the easiest to use and you get all the information from one dashboard to install Immunify 360 on a standalone server, you need to have special sysadmin skills. Even a new user who knows uh, the basics about VPS and SSH can easily install Bitninja on his server. 
when it comes to talk about installing 360 uh, with cyber panel you also need to convert cyber panel to cloud linux os and install uh, kgfs so bitninja does not ask you to make any changes into your os cms or code no matter which os you use so bitninja is control panel independent and you can use it on any server you want Guys, I give Bitninja 5 out of 5 stars for catching and cleaning malware from the server. I personally use it on my own servers and so guys, give it a shot and keep your server secured. Signing out. Bye-bye.